But we all know that sitting for a long period of time is bad for your health, posture, and turns you into an actual potato. Now, I do have a smartwatch, which does tell me when to get up, but it's so easy to dismiss that I often just dismiss it and completely ignore it and don't even stand up. So let's build back better. Let's build something better. So instead, I want to build this thing, an Arduino powered smart cushion. What's going to happen is when I've been sitting for too long, let's say 30 minutes, it's going to ring an alarm and then it's going to keep ringing until I actually stand up. Then there's going to be a one minute grace period where if I sit back down within that one minute, it's going to continue ringing. So I have to actually stand up and not sit back down for one whole minute. Pretty simple, easy to do, so let's get to it. So how will we know if somebody is sitting? Well, the easiest way to answer that question is to use some type of pressure sensor or force sensitive resistor. I decided to use a material that you can find in lots of packaging called Velostat. It's electrically conductive, but it has a resistance that changes when pressure is applied to it. Now for the bare minimum setup, we can apply copper tape on both sides of the Velostat and connect the wire to that tape on either side. But since we want to make this look like an actual cushion, let's add some more protection using these craft materials and some cushioning using a chunk of memory foam. Finally, we can wrap it in obnoxious color and now we have a better looking pressure sensitive cushion all ready to use. Now let's design the rest of the circuit. So for the pressure sensing circuit itself, all we need to do is connect the cushion in series with a fixed resistor to get a voltage divider and we will feed that divider into the input of the comparator. Now, the second input of the comparator will be another voltage divider that will serve as our reference voltage to compare against. So when someone is sitting, the variable resistance will drop low, making the total voltage at the non-inverting input lower than at the inverting input, outputting low on a comparator. Now we connect that output into the input of one of our GPIO pins on the microcontroller, and we will control this whole entire pressure sensing circuit from a transistor that is also controlled by the microcontroller. And for completeness, let's also connect a buzzer, LED, a decoupling capacitor, and flyback diode. All right, let's write some code. So pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna sleep for eight seconds, then wake up and sample the pressure sensing circuit. Now, when we sample it, we wanna see if the person is sitting. If they are sitting, we're gonna mark it as a hit after 225 hits in a row, which is gonna be roughly 30 minutes. We take 225 times eight seconds apart. We're gonna trigger an alarm and that alarm is gonna keep ringing until the person stands up. Now, if we sample the sit detection circuit and they're not sitting, we're gonna mark that as a miss. After seven misses in a row, what we're gonna do is clear all the counters and start back from zero. Okay, so after some really crappy soldering, here's what the board looks like. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have a nice 3D printed box I could put this in. So instead, I did the upcycling method, which pretty much taking an old headphone box, spray painted it, and attached it to the back of my chair, and placed the perf board within that box. So now for the moment of truth. Does this work? Does this make me stand up? Like, you did like so much damage. So now that this is built, I have been using it myself for the past two weeks and I got to say that this is actually really helpful. And I think the funniest thing about this actually was one time I was in a work meeting with my manager, um, then suddenly I'm like talking and then this alarm starts ringing and I'm like, oh wait, can we hold this stall? I actually have to stand up for like one minute and walk around before this alarm stops ringing. So it's kind of a little fun thing, but it's really cool to see just how long I'm sitting for, because I don't even realize that 30 minutes has passed. It's crazy. So guys, this has been a quick Arduino project to do. Um, definitely tell me what you think in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Stay subscribed so you can see more stuff that I upload in the future. And as always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.